Hello, resellers, pickers, thrifties. What's yours? Thrifties. Oh, dang, man, I took hers. I mean, man, we're just all a bunch of junkers. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to, uh, I sold this blade, pretty good money. It's quarter inch steel plate. And so then we sold it, man. We're like, all right, cha-ching. And then we're all, oh, crap, we got to pack that thing and ship it now. So, uh. How's it usually work when, when you want to buy a big item? Oh, yeah, she always, the deal, which actually I'm surprised she's out here with me. Because every time that I sell a big item or I pick up something, I'm like, man, we'll do good on this thing. Goes in up. She's all, oh, man, packing that, pack shipping that. that. I don't want to pack that. Hold on. Oops. And she's like, oh, I don't want to buy. Oh, I'll do it, baby. Don't worry, hon. I'll do all that. And I actually things. was shipping and receiving. I back in the, did my time in shipping and receiving, so, man. But there we had a, I think it was 16 by, I know, maybe it was 8 foot. Yeah, 8 by 8 table, man. You just threw that stuff in underneath all, everything that you needed for packings under. But anyway, um, so we're going to put this thing and ship it. But we thought, first we thought we'd talk, uh. You know, we're going into the fourth quarter, holiday season on eBay, if you're into reselling and all that. And well, some of the people we watch and some of the people we've talked to um, are saying that, it's, you know, it's slow, man. Slow as some of them, the slowest they've ever, uh, ever had in the time they've been doing it. And... I mean, it's, I mean, we're selling stuff and everything, but it has started off slow, not as gung-ho as a lot of time. I mean, usually by this time of the year, you know, next week, man, we're a week from uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, you know. Black Friday. And stuff, yeah, Black Friday and all that, man. And we're usually yeah. just pumping this stuff out. Yeah. You know, we're selling a few things every day, but right. it sure hasn't, you know, which makes you go, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, man, especially when you're in the business and you right. make your living. You know, I guess that's one right. of the things. Well, and, and with the internet, it's really hard to um, predict or compare to last year. You just can't. It's, um, yeah, you just don't know what's going our, on. Our um, holiday sales might not hit until the 1st of December. Right, all of a sudden. Say. Man, I sure hope it kicks yeah. in, man. Because right now, it's going to be slim pickings. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay. uh, you know, and that's, and we've got the one thing, man, if you are starting a uh, your own business or, online, you know, eBay, if you're starting eBay, Etsy, any of that, Look at those little purple. Yeah. They always come out right before it snows. Yeah. Just they're, they're like fuzzy purple bluish <laughs> yeah. gnats. But, um, you know, <gasps> suck yes, right in and talk. But anyway, you squirrel. Um, you know, if you're doing that, it's something that we always concentrate, and I always am trying to find more sticks to put in the fire. Because the one thing, man, is, um, you know, eBay is our biggest source of income, but we also have other little sticks, you know, that we're trying to catch on fire. Always, you know, trying to keep things going, man. And we have before relied 100% on eBay, and then you have a bad month, man, and it will, man, it will freak you out. Yeah. So, man, you always, you know, even though you start your business or whatever, man, is always, you know, and when I'm saying sticks in the fire, I mean anything from selling you know, other avenues, man, of Craigslist, you know, out in front of your place if you can, or um, Etsy, uh, you know, one of ours, man, YouTube, we don't make a lot of money off of YouTube, but it's, you know, all of it, little pennies adds, adds up. up, we yeah. have other little avenues, you know, and uh, one thing, living in the middle of nowhere, you know, our nearest auction house is about 160, or no, it's about, that's about 250 mile round trip. Round round trip. To, yeah, round trip yeah. to the There's auction house. Is there one in back. Ontario anymore? I don't think there is one in Ontario oh, well. anymore. But, so I, well, and I wouldn't take it to right. anywhere, man. Right. It's not there. Right. But, uh, you know, so I mean, that's one that we don't get to um, use as much anymore. And Craigslist, man, I talked about that in one of the past videos. Craigslist is not what it's, you know, what it used to be. Mm -hmm. And then, so then, so then when we're going through, then, 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 <laughs> when we're going through, you know, and, stuff slow a little bit or whatever you start thinking uh um you know maybe it's ebay no no <laughs> what about that man there's the treasures that we find oh, yeah. up here yeah you yeah. ain't gonna find that stuff anywhere else but uh i'm talking about as far as so many you know the offer ups and oh, the etsy right, the other you know yeah other places to sell besides mm -hmm. ebay you know and so 
You know, you get those one people, you watch those, you gotta watch watch it when you're watching some of them show, man. They're, eBay is dead. <laughs> definitely not dead. It's uh, definitely changing all the time. Do we have anything else? So I think we'll click back in here in a minute after we start cutting these up. I got company, man. Okay, go visit. See, now we're starting to use cardboard. This is Miss Kitty's plan for of approach me. What I wanted to do was cut two pieces of plywood and screw them together in a square. But Miss Kitty, you, my interior how, designer okay, wife... So how do you screw the two pieces of plywood together without uh, making it go over an inch thick? So you use quarter inch plywood. Okay, and just little tiny screws? Oh, yeah. Well, you, I'd cut them off. Okay, and how much does that weigh and how much more shipping are you going to have to pay? I don't know how much the plywood is here. I don't know how much the... Uh, what's your part? With 36 inches, I'd have, I could screw here, screw here, screw here, screw here, and screw through the center. Okay. Right. And Miss Kitty's idea, you know, Miss Interior Designer, which is pretty good, man. So I we're am going to make try it. a hexagon um, with uh, six triangle or six diamond shapes. Um, the blade is 35 oh. inches. I'm going to have a 18 inch um, center of the diamond. Center of the diamond which would then fold over and then run tape around each six sides. That's pretty slick, Miss Kitty. You almost should have waited until we got Timothy Tucker here so he could play because this sounds like a craft project. That's three sixteenths. Okay, and how thick is a piece of plywood? A quarter inch. Okay. I got quarter inch plywood, so quarter inch and quarter inch is. Uh -huh. <laughs> So if I did quarter inch, quarter inch, and then this is a quarter inch. So that's under an inch. Yeah, quarter inch, quarter inch. Okay. That'd be three quarters of an inch okay. thick. So do you want to use some of your building material to pack that? Or would well, you we're going to do that. I just follow you lead, babe. Okay. I thought I was the one that had to do it because I sold it. Well, my concern is that you get that plywood out here and you think, oh, it's not that heavy. Well, that's not what the shipping person who we have to pay says. Every ounce. I don't think that's what kind of video this is going to be. We're about to get crazy. <laughs> Other than that. So we will we will click back in here. Might be only one of us left by, yeah. <laughs> by then. Okay, so I got all of my diamond pieces cut. Ready to go. Get taped on. Then we realized we were out of tape. Not 100% out of tape. So but, I had to go search all the rigs. Yeah, so we've got... Multiple. She officer. kicked me out of here, so I went and built something. And he found me some pumpkin. <laughs> so, okay, I started. So I think maybe you switch places you and you stand it up. Because I've got it going right here. I got my tape okay, down. So you want to sit it on the side? Yeah. I want to see this is what I'm concerned about being able to hold it in place while we tape. I noticed that. I wonder if it's stuck in one of those planters right there. Oh, I'm in the box. Boy, it messed my table up, man. Yeah, it did. Do you want me to go get like another chunk of cardboard? Grab that piece of wood right there. Right there. Wood. Right on that aluminum box. This. Oh, yep. I'll do it. Yeah, I messed my table up. Yeah. Well, I lifted it up and just eyeballed it. I think it looks good from both sides. So, I'm on one. Sauce. You have some? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna flip this. Okay. This is this side. <laughs> Good 
Good job, Miss Kitty. I could have done it without there. you. Looks like this thing's still going on. I'm not sure. Well, I forgot that was going. <laughs> Changed hats, took off, put clothes on, took clothes off. It's the sun comes out, man. You're doing stuff and hoofing this, man. It warms up. So, uh, see, man, we're gonna kind of. I'll have fast forward on my editor. I'd fast forward this whole thing. So, this kitty will uh, smack, slap a label on there. Label on that bad boy, and we'll go down. And in our area, we actually drop off at a local store for our UPS pickups. We don't have no UPS stores right now. Right, so, uh, I guess that's it, man. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share on here. Um, helps keep these videos coming. And supports the homestead, and the treasure hunting, and all that jazz. And I say, uh, oh, I just said like, I gotta subscribe, yeah. trying to build this channel up, man. Check out the Idaho Hillbilly. And Keep your eyes on the horizon and your nose to the wind. And if you're out there treasure hunting, hope to find color in the bottom of your pan. See ya!